Hello everybody and welcome back to the Dark Souls 3 Soul Level 1 Challenge. After dealing with the Aerithel Dungeon, we're back for hopefully a short, breezy episode. So something we're going to kind of do is we're going to kind of lower down some of our weight load a bit because we know we're going to be dealing with the Storm Ruler when we fight Yormi. And we do not want to be over encumbered when we're fighting Yormi. He's got a big old machete. He's not afraid to drop it on our head and kill us if we're not careful. He does a lot of damage. I don't have a lot of hit points. I'm also a little lost. That's been a long time since that thing's hit me. You'll have to forgive that poor performance book. Hello, Yormi. Please don't kill me. Right now, I just want that storm ring. You see, that's what I was afraid was going to happen. What I didn't think was going to happen is me completely missing the Storm Ruler pickup. Because ideally, what you want to do is you want to run through his legs there like I did at first, then grab the Storm Ruler, but then turn around, run back, and... Then you want to equip the Storm Ruler with some quick menuing, if you're good enough at quick menuing to quick menu it. I'm usually pretty rubbish at quick menuing, as if any of the previous footage has ever shown that to be a truth or a fiction. I'll let you decide. And back across the bridge. Unlike our last thing, this is a nice short... Little run. Little run to fight the army. Unlike the Irithyll dungeon. Which if you count the Irithyll dungeon as part of Yorm's run up, Yorm's run up was trash to get here. But that bonfire there really makes this a lot better. Okay. So whatever you do, don't be like me and forget how to charge up the Storm Ruler. It's really easy, it's a weapon art. This is, this is, this is gonna be dumb, isn't it? This is gonna be dumb. As in, I'm gonna be dumb. Perspective is important. Woo, that was close. He almost got my butt. Well, that guy's getting flattened by the gargoyle he's trying to kill. The fun of watching these poor, poor phantasms. Okay, Yorm, you sick son of a bitch.
I rolled in front of him. gonna be a bitch. I forgot how long the storm roller takes. No, God! So I told it to roll, but I think I was still recovering from swinging the storm roller. I was predicting that I was going to hit a brick wall of bosses here soon, actually. But I was specifically thinking more of Pontiff. I wasn't I wasn't necessarily thinking uh that Yorm was gonna become a brick wall to stop me from proceeding forward. I mean he is he is big and bad, that is true. I knew he was going to be able to, like, knock me around. I just didn't realize he was going to actually one-shot me. I was thinking maybe cool hits. Of course, missing my opening move kind of fucked me a bit. Charge, 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 charge. Oh, that was such a gamble, but it worked. Oh, yeah. He gave me quite a bit of fight. He gave me quite a bit of a fight, actually. Okay. For a second, I misread my raw mark and thought that was telling me I couldn't wield it, even though that's in the completely wrong corner. And I was wondering why I couldn't wield my raw broadsword. Okay, so that should be everything back to normals. So, let's see here, uh, gotta try, I think I'm gonna try maybe to get to Pontiff's room, or get set up for the run for to Pontiff's room at least. I hear my phone in the distance. I wonder if it's important. Okay, don't go down there. That's that's the nightmare landscape. Oh wait, it's all a nightmare landscape. 
because this is my least favorite segment of the game. Because there's never quite a segment as bad as this one. When you're... I mean, okay, so the segment really isn't normally too bad. Except for a few little places are very awful. And that's just what sucks here. Overall, the, the game itself on this part of the run isn't actually too bad. It's just... Well, there's a couple little areas that are very annoying. Ooh, Silver Knight. Can I outrun him? Probably not. He'll probably follow me to hell and back. Woo! Oh no, puppers. It's all my worst nightmare. And invaded? Fuck you all! So, uh, you guys said you wanted to see me die to Pontiff, right? Well, here you go. I meant to get the fucking shortcut, but instead... I was like, hey... Pontiff? Come, get ready to... Fuck me over, buddy boy. None of that will work on you very well. Let's get fucked by the pontiff. I don't think that'll do me any good, but... So the key here is that you want to parry him. The problem is I suck at parries. And he is such an aggressive... Ag Aggressive bitch. Such an aggressive bitch. Oh, that silver knight threw me off. And then the dogs. Okay, let's try to get to the bonfire again. What is with my other neighbors? Don't they know some of us have more important things to deal with than their shenanigans? Okay. Make sure to always shield yourself because dogos, dogos are dicks. And dogos like to jump up on the elevator with you and eat your face. I've seen it happen to me many a time. Alright, so as I said, this is going to be a short little episode. I didn't even mean to actually fight Pontiff. I'll probably leave that in just so you guys can see me get my ass fucking whooped. I'm not used to his parry timing for some reason anymore. Probably the long break in between. Uh, between in between, I'm probably going to see if I can find some chunks that I can get and go collect them off screen to upgrade the weapon to save you guys a little bit of time so we can actually get into fighting Pontiff over and over and over and over again for eight hours. Thank you guys so much for watching.
you liked the video, please give a comment down below. You can give the video a like. Think about subscribing if you'd like to see more videos uh, of this as it comes out. And, of course, if you have a challenge or a game you would like to see, please leave a comment of it down below and I'll check it out. So, I will see you guys in the next video. And hey, have fun.